Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. In today's video, we are going to be adjusting an animation pose. F uh, start by firing up your animation sequence. So in this case, I have this. Just a little bit of navigation around the uh, timeline. So in this case, it's a zero to one frame animation. You can hold control, zoom in, zoom in out to kind of uh, get around there. Right now, there is no la additional layer tracks. Uh, which is what we're going to add once we adjust our position around a little bit. I just want to adjust the position of my thumb a little bit. It's kind of out of uh, kind of out of place. Uh, so we're just going to start by adjusting that thumb a little bit so it's not quite so weirdly positioned. Uh, I'm just kind of adjusting bone by bone, doing a little bit of rotation. Trying to find what looks right. It's kind of weird to adjust in three-dimensional space instead of along a bones like natural axis. Uh, maybe there's a way to do that. If you guys let, if you guys know, anybody knows in the comments how to adjust based on a bones orientation instead of what seems to be like the relative space of the camera viewport let me know in the comments I would like to I would like to figure that out um, anyway so what I'm doing first is I'm just adjusting the position that I want the uh, thumb to be in it's only a one frame animation basically I'm just adjusting a pose but this could be applied to adjusting multiple frame multiple frame animations uh, in the same way in very much the same way as we're going to show you in just a sec. So once I've got everything sort of uh, how I want it, what I'm going to want to do here is I've got my thumb bones, right? And that's what we adjusted is just the thumb bones. So that's all I really need to tweak. Um, what I'm going to do is with my the bones selected now there might be a way to a better way to do this with the bones selected that I want to actually keyframe as you can see I've got thumb one here and as you can see I can I can just uh, actually what I'm gonna do since this is a single frame animation I'm gonna st start with the zero frame here and just go ahead and add a key now in this case it seemed I think it detected that I adjusted thumbs one two and three or maybe it had to do with me clicking on the starting thumb bone. I'm not entirely sure. But you can see the additive layer tracks here, thumb one, two, and three got adjusted, which is good. That is what I want. Uh, that is basic. Now I can actually go ahead and I can adjust things around here in this uh, layer zero. I'm not sure if I need to reapply that once I do by clicking key or not. Uh, I have been just clicking key. Uh, not pro, that's for sure. Guys, I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. That being said, if you're not sure how to do this, this seems to do, this seems to do the trick. <laughs> um, yeah, just looking for like a non... Don't want to pull those uh, polygons in a weird way, but that kind of does. Now, if you had a multiple frame animation, you could go on to the next frame. Say you wanted the frame two to be in a different position. You would just go, go to the frame that you want to adjust adjust your bone and then click key and it will tween from zero to one uh, in that in that case so for example uh, yeah anyway I think you guys know what I mean there let's 